So I'm here today to present my project, which is uh, CNC aluminum electric boot. Um, the main goal of this project was to actually uh, replace the full motor boots that are at the lagoon. So uh, the problem was that the, the fuel motors that they are using is actually uh, powered by fuel, which is uh, bad for actually the, the water because it pollutes it. And the fact that we have someone is a protected area that has fish inside, uh, I mean, uh, obviously that has fish inside the water, uh, but also they have, we have a lot of specimens uh, and on the mangroves, like um, birds, a lot of birds. So using fuel motors actually is bad for the birds because it makes a lot of noise, but also is bad for the fish. So it destroys the environment. So we have um, water pollution, noise pollution, and also uh, climate, it actually uh, increase the, the climate change. So uh, yes, the main goal of this project was actually to, to fight against those type of pollution. So by using an electric motor, we just uh, will just reduce the noise because it almost doesn't make any noise, but also it doesn't like pollute the water because it's using solar energy we added solar panels on top of the boot so that's pretty much it so by using uh, an electric motor and using solar energy we can say bye bye to the uh, pollution water pollution bye bye to the noise uh, noise pollution but also we are reducing the uh, the advancement of climate change our boat is probably using a head horsepower power hangar motor which is powered by a 48 battery which is element by solar energy. How does it work? The solar energy is linked at the same time to the motor and the battery. Since the lagoon is an open space, you can use the, that energy, the energy from the sun, to, uh, to charge at the same time the battery and the motor. And when the sky is covered, since there is no sun, the motor can use the energy from the battery to run. Those batteries have an anatomy of two hours and the boat can run at a speed of 10 km per hour using those batteries. But those 10 km per hour uh, uh, can, can vary. If you drive those, the, the boat at a speed higher than, kilo, than 10 km per hour, you may not exceed those two hours, but you may cover a great distance. On the other hand, if you drive at a, slow, a slower speed, you may increase the two hours, but you may not cover the great distance. And I can add that the battery are very light. Since they are very light, we can use that advantage, advantage to increase the autonomy of the battery by adding more of them. Our main advantage is that we use a solar energy to charge our motor and, and to charge our, our batteries. And now knowing someone as a very sun, sunny environment with a pH with a peak sun hour of 5.92 hours of sun a day, we decided to implement the solar energy as our primary source. And to add to that, we will use like two solar panels of 340 watts, which, which will charge the batteries so that the, so that the, the motors will work the batteries. And, and also throughout, throughout our, our calculation, we first we, we wanted to, like, to go for five, 550 watts, one solar panel of 550 watts, but we realized that 550 watts of of solar panel won't be enough to like to charge our battery and to go with the motor. So this is why we decided to use two solar panels of 340 watt so that in, like we, if we put them in series, we'll get a total energy of six, a total power of 680 watt, 680 watt so that it, it can charge like our, our batteries faster for a usage of two hours daily. Our motor is a 48 volt motor. So we decided to use two batteries of 22 point two voltage, we put them in series, which in total gave us 44.4 volts. Like our motor will now function as it is like high speed, but it still works for our prototype. And also during, during the sizing of the PV array, we use like classes from our seniors, like classes that we haven't taken yet, but, but we use like those classes in order like to help us do, do the sizing, which is one thing that we really enjoyed during this project is that we were able like to go beyond our resources. It's not like the classes that we are doing right now, we always work, work like beyond our like 
We have launched our prototype and now we are building a startup to bring, to bring clean, affordable boating to local fishermen. Instead of replacing boats, we will offer kits uh, of solar panels, batteries and motors customized to each boat size and environment. Bring your boat, we do the rest, support us and be part of the electric future. We had to do the test at the Lagoon of Somon. The first testing went successful, but unfortunately, when leaving the shore, we found that there was an imbalance by the hull design, which made the boat to fall off. We had to make some repair, repairs, fix the battery, change the charge control because they all got soaked in salt water. The second tests and the ones that came after it were successful with each member capable of running with it for a very fair distance. We were able to also use it at high speed, being able to transport four passengers at the same time. When we were assigned this, this project, like it was something that was mind-blowing. Like imagine coming at your second year of mechanical uh, engineering and then we just ask you like to build an electric boat. Like, how do you see how insane that sounds? We didn't know actually like where to start, so we had to uh, go through some designing uh, process. Uh, that 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 were taught by um, Dr. Sidendo. We also used some classes such as um, mechanics of materials, uh, engineering statics, because like by the time uh, I was doing, we were doing the project. We were also doing those classes. So in the meantime, like when we were doing the classes and then uh, I was actually thinking about like how this, uh, the, how what we are learning right now are going to like uh, be useful when making the, 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 the actual boat. So like this is just to show the importance of like what actually we are learning at DAOS because we get to actually practice what we are learning which is a, a, a good thing. So we are like, uh, let's say, uh, learning by doing.